So uh, I say uh, welcome to uh, Mikhail Fodishek. Is that approximately right? Yes, that was a correct pronunciation. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so Mikhail, you're going to explain problem A for us. So hello, everyone. I'm going to talk about problem A, uh, which is a really nice problem. It has a little bit of everything. You have to first do a little bit of thinking, and then afterwards you have to do a little bit of implementation to get it right. So let me walk you through the problem. What you are given in the input are some molecules, and to make the problem really simple, we assume that we have a spherical horse in the vacuum, or in this case, we have molecules that are perfectly square, and each of them, each side, is either labeled by a positive or a negative letter, or by double zero, which means this is a side that doesn't react, doesn't connect to other molecules. And now we are given a collection of molecule types, and there is an arbitrary number of each molecule available. And what we are doing with these molecules, we are assembling them into a structure. So you can take one molecule, place it next to another one, like this. And always the edges have to match. So you have an edge A plus on one molecule. You need to have A minus on the other neighboring molecule. And in this way, you can extend them into some kinds of structures. And sometimes when you are assembling these structures, Cases like this one may occur, that you have Z minus here and Z plus here. So now you could be able to take this entire piece and add another piece just like it over here, the Z minus matching the Z plus, and so on. And in this way, these kinds of molecules could be assembled into an unbounded, potentially infinite structure. Now the question asks, given these exact molecule types, is it possible to assemble such a possibly negative, uh, possibly infinite structure, or it has, every structure has to be finite. Now, on the first glance, this seems to be a very tricky problem, and actually many variations of this problem are computationally hard. For instance, there is a, an exotic computational model called the Wang tiles, uh, which is closely related to this problem, and uh, it is Turing complete, so it is equivalent to Turing machines or standard computational models, and deciding anything about it is very hard. Now in this problem, we are given a simplification. We are able to not, not just take the molecules in these original positions, we are able to rotate them, and very importantly, we are able to reflect them. So when we first start thinking about the problem, you probably start to coming up with an idea that yes, this is something I need to produce, some kind of a path that starts with the letter and ends with the same letter with the opposite sign. And when I manage to do this in a right way, then I will be able to make an unbounded structure. And if this is impossible, then there is no unbounded structure. This is mostly right, but you may run into tricky cases like this one. So we start with this tile here. We then assemble some path of tiles and end in a tile here. And this seems to work. So this style would fit here, but we cannot just take this piece and repeat it indefinitely because it would co collide with itself, like this here would crash into this and this may be a completely different tile. So at the first glance, it seems tricky. What you need to realize when solving this problem is that it actually isn't tricky. As you are allowed to reflect the tiles, what you can do here is you can reflect everything around this style and then around this style again. and just create a path that goes to the left and up, for instance. So anytime you can actually construct such a path, you are guaranteed to have an unbounded situation. And if such a path is impossible, then it is clearly bounded. Now, if you take a look at the rank list, you will notice that there are quite a lot of incorrect submissions. And most of these actually do get this first idea right, but then uh, have problems in implementation. So. Basically, what you need to do is you need to build a graph on the individual letters and look for a cycle in this graph. But there are many cases where the cycle isn't exactly the thing you want. So for instance, if we have two different tiles, each with an A plus and an A minus, then this doesn't have to still be a cycle. You just uh, different pairs of tiles you can put together, but you cannot create an unbounded structure out of this. So there are some tricky special cases you need to consider in the implementation. And I guess that's it. OK, thank you very much. Well, yeah. this is, uh, sounds a lot like what Derek was saying, that this is an actually easy problem in hiding.
Yes, it's actually an easy problem in hiding. I expect many of the top teams to get it during the later hours of the contest.